Welcome to the 14th tutorial in the GPSX tutorial series, Introduction to Using Python in GPSX. No software can be made in a general enough way to handle each user's specific visualization and interfacing needs. To provide users with the highest degree of control over their use of GPSX, Python has been fully integrated within GPSX. By integrating Python directly into GPSX, advanced users have complete control over how they handle data entry, visualization, and collection performed during their simulations. It is important to note that while some of the basics of the Python programming language will be highlighted in the GPSX tutorials focused on Python, they are not meant to be a comprehensive guide for using Python. The goal of this tutorial is to familiarize users with how Python scripts that will directly manipulate GPSX simulations can be created, edited, and run in GPSX. Users will also learn how to add libraries to Python instances in GPSX using pip. Please note that a Pro Plus license is required for Python scripting integration in GPSX. Begin by opening the layout created in Tutorial 1 and save it with a new name. Switch to simulation mode if not already selected. All Python functionality in GPSX is controlled by the Python Script Manager. To open the Python Script Manager, navigate to Tools, Python Script Manager on the main toolbar. Create a new Python script by pressing the New button in the Python Script Manager. You will be prompted to specify a file name and location for the Python file. By default, the file will be named after the layout in the current working directory. Save the script with these default settings. With the newly created script selected in the Python Script Manager, pressing the Edit button will open the script in Notepad by default. If you would like to change these default settings, you can press the Python Settings button in the Python Script Manager. In the window that opens, you can specify the text editor that you would like GPSX to open when editing a Python script and specify the version of Python that you would like to run. Versions 2.7 and 3.7 are included by default, but you can provide a path to other versions if desired. Press the Edit button to open the file in Notepad. This will open a Python script generated by GPSX that has four predefined Python functions. The Start function will be called before any dynamic simulations have been performed. The cint function will be called at each communication interval that occurs in the simulation. This includes both the start and the end of the simulation. The eor function will be called after the simulation has finished running. The final function predefined by GPSX is the run sim function. This function will start a simulation each time that is called. To get familiar with how Python scripts are run in GPSX, we will perform a very basic hello world example. In this example, we will be adding a print statement to each of the functions defined by GPSX. Add the following statements to the code. Save the script by going to File, Save on the main toolbar in Notepad. Any changes to the Python script will only be reflected in GPSX if the script has been saved. Select the script in the Python Script Manager and press the Run Script button. Any outputs from the script will appear in the Output pane of the Python Script Manager. In our output, the word Hello appears first and only a single time. This is because the Start function is called immediately after running the script and then it is not called again in the script. Similarly, the word world only appears once at the end of the output because EOR is only called once at the end of the simulation. It can be seen that there are two spaces between the words hello and world, meaning that the cint function is called twice during the script. This is because the cint function will be called at each communication interval, including the initiation and termination of the simulation. Since the stop time is set to zero days by default, the simulation will immediately terminate and the cint function will be called a second time. Now that you understand how Python scripts can interact with GPSX, we will look at how Python can be used to manipulate GPSX variables directly. 
A Python script has been prepared for this part of the tutorial and has been included in the GPSX installation. Navigate to the GPSX installation on your machine and open the Layouts folder followed by the Tutorials folder. Locate the file named Tutorial 14 COD Manipulation and open it. Save the file in your current working directory. Open the Python script manager. To run an existing Python script in GPSX, it must be added to the Python script manager. To add the script to GPSX, press the Add button and a file directory will be opened. Select the script from the directory and press Open to add it to the Python script manager. Let's now take a look at what this script is doing. With the script selected, press Edit to open it in Notepad. The start function is using special Python functions that are recognized by GPSX to obtain current values of variables in the layout and assign new values to input variables in the layout. The GPSX recognized commands in the start function are gpsx.getValue. This function allows you to assign the current value of a GPSX cryptic variable to a variable in Python. To use this function, you must first enter the cryptic variable name of the variable of interest in the parentheses as a string. Remember that you can view a variable's cryptic variable name by hovering the mouse cursor over it and viewing the tooltip. GPSX.setValue This function allows you to directly assign a new value to a GPSX variable in Python. To use this function, you must first provide the cryptic variable name as a string, followed by the new value that you would like to assign to the variable. GPSX.setTStop this function allows you to specify the GPSX simulation stop time in Python. This function only requires you to enter the new stop time in the parentheses. For a complete list of all the GPSX recognized functions and their inputs, refer to the GPSX user guide. The cint function is using the gpsx.getValue function to obtain the value of four variables of interest at each communication interval. The EOR function prints the value of the variables obtained in the final call of the cint function. Save the script. Run the script. It is important to notice in the output that changing an input variable's value in GPSX will not immediately affect the output variable's value. This is illustrated by the adjusted input and output variables. While Python has changed the input values, the adjusted output values remain the same as the initial outputs. These values will remain the same until the simulation is resumed. Through the addition of Python to GPSX, users now have access to hundreds of open source Python libraries for performing specialized tasks. To use these libraries, you must first add them to the instance of Python being used by GPSX. We will now look at how libraries are added to the instance of Python found in the GPSX installation. Begin by opening your machine's command window. This can be done by going to the search field on your machine's taskbar and entering CMD. Next, we must specify the pathway to the Python instance in GPSX. Locate the GPSX installation directory on your machine and navigate to the Python installation folder that corresponds to the version of Python that you are currently using. If you are using Python version 3.7, open the folder named Python 37. If you are using Python version 2.7, open the folder named Python. In the Python folder, right click on the File Explorer address bar and select Copy Address. Reopen the command window and enter cd. Next, paste the pathway we copied from the File Explorer in the command window. Press Enter and the Python installation directory will become the current working directory in the command window. Next we'll check to see if there are any updates available for PIP, the package management system included in the base installation of Python. To check for PIP updates, enter the following. Press Enter and PIP will automatically check to see if any updates are available. If there are any updates available, PIP will automatically collect the appropriate files, 
perform the installation, and uninstall the old installation. If the package is up to date, PIP will report that the requirements are up to date and no installation will be performed. We will now install the matplotlib library for use by the Python instance in GPSX. Matplotlib is a dedicated plotting library in Python. To install this library, enter the following in the command window. Press enter and pip will locate, collect, and install all of the files required for matplotlib. Pip will also verify that all the libraries that matplotlib is a dependency of meet the version requirements needed for matplotlib. If the dependency libraries are not the appropriate version, pip will collect the relevant library files and update the dependencies to the appropriate versions. It is important to note that the libraries installed using this method are Python version and instance specific. This means that if you were to install matplotlib in the Python version 3.7 directory, it will not be available for use in Python version 2.7 unless you install it in that directory as well. To see the files currently installed in the instance of Python that you are using, open the Python instance folder in the GPSX installation file, navigate to lib, site packages, and you will see a folder for each non-default Python library you have installed. You have now completed the 14th tutorial in the GPSX tutorial series. You should now be familiar with how you can create and edit Python scripts to directly insert and extract data from GPSX simulations. You should also be familiar with how new libraries can be added to the instance of Python that is being used by GPSX. Mm -hmm.